Hey guys, welcome to another compilation. And this time, we are gonna be hearing it for the girls. That's right, it's all about girl power, okay? All these sketches have a girl being awesome. Cause who run the world? Girls. girls. Enjoy. Paul, our featured extra is here for the motorcycle falling scene. Okay, great, give her a water and get her on standby. We're just waiting on lights. <laughs> uh, no, Paul, uh, we got Star Feraldo, the A-list extra. She's like the Jennifer Lawrence of standing in the background and barely being seen. The director told us to treat her very well. Okay, fine. We're just behind schedule, so bring her in here. Um. Excuse me! <laughs> Star Ferraldo in no regular extra. I don't get brung here, okay? I come when I am good and ready. Luckily for you, I am already here. <laughs> All right. Do you know your action? Have you ever done this before? Uh, nah. Excuse me, you remember Jurassic World? Uh, of course. Scene City 7, pterodactyl attack, three shots of my face, featured extra, boss office man. Great, let's have you come over here. The film just... Ant-Man. Yeah. Scene 119, 6.8 settings at the back of my head, unanticipated success. Awesome, okay, cool. Mission Impossible, Rogue U Nation. I get it. I make your money. Yeah, she makes our money, yeah. Brandon, how about you go get Star a bagel? Okay. Oh no. <laughs> I don't do bagels. If his bread has a hole in it and isn't covered in wax and sprinkles, it's a bagel. And listen up now, I don't do bagels. Fine, no bagels. What would you like? Seven up in a golden flask. Okay, got it. Uh, yeah. So what's my action? All right, you're going to come over here and trip into this gutter. The uh, motorcycle. Now, excuse me, I got something in my eye. Oh, wait, here it is. Oh, look at it. Anna! I don't do falling. Star, that's literally all your character does. Well, then you're going to have to get somebody else, like maybe that girl, because it look like her pants are from Walmart. I bet they like sitting in the gutter. They probably like... Thank you for sitting here. I really love it. It is much more preferable than my previous Walmart surroundings. No. <laughs> come here. I gotta tell you something. It's really important, so I need you to come a little bit closer. You gotta come. You are underestimating the importance of what I'm about to tell you because you are not close enough. Okay, here it is. Anna! <laughs> I don't do falling. So I don't have time for this, okay? You don't want to start here. Star had to be here. Star could be chilling with Iggy Azalea's stick cousin on the beach. Okay, um, <laughs> so we didn't have a flash. A chalice is acceptable. Okay, great. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So the director wants to know how Star is doing. He said he'd come down if there were any problems. <sighs> we're fine. We're yeah, just okay. working out another scene for Star because great. this one is too. Unsettinary. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, how about you come in yeah. tomorrow morning and we'll have a new scene ready for you then? Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's really interesting. Let me just check my planner. Where is it? Oh wait, here I found it. Anna! <laughs> I don't do mornings. Star, that's the only time we can get a pickup shot before Chris Evans gets to set, no, okay? No, no, I, I hear what you're saying. You want me to come in when the sun in the east and the clock set a.m.? That's morning. I don't do mornings. When? Paul, Paul, Paul. Paul, fuzzy Paul, Paul. <laughs> When is good for you, Star? 11 o'clock? Well, let me just, oh, oh, what is this? Oh, it's a little caterpillar. What's he doing? He coming towards you. What you gonna do? He's standing up. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> I don't do mornings. That is very late morning, Star. Oh, no. Is Sesame Street still on? And Starbucks had to run out of scones? That's morning. And spontaneous dance party. Na, 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 na. Oh, no! I don't do mornings. <laughs> Noon then, come in at noon, okay? Anna, 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 I don't know what you're thinking when you say these numbers, but let me spell it out for you. When you hear birds that are not knock fertile make a chirpy sounds, when the sky is the color of blue that you see our women who shop at Old Navy, I'm looking at you on my pants. When I am not grazing your presence, that's morning. And I, coming around now, don't, magic trick, do, call your baby daddy, my own names. You know what, you're fired, Paul. okay? No, no, I don't care if she's an A-list extra, whatever that nonsense is. It's an eight second scene, I can get anybody to do it. You, right here, what's your name? Russell. Have you ever acted before? <laughs> Yeah. Great. Come over here, fall, and we'll move on from this stupid scene. Oh, no. Action!
Bye, Southwest. Unsuccess. I like you, skinny boy. Come with me. <laughs> Alex, wake up. We've been taken hostage. What? Like in the movies? Yes. I am a spy. I've been undercover for the last three years. Whoa, my girlfriend's a spy. That's really hot. No, it is not hot. We are in serious danger. Well, it's kind of hot. Are you also secretly British? What? No! Oh, well, that would be hot. The first thing we need to do is take off these bags. Roger that. Uh, what are you doing? Woo. Shaking my bag off. It's not working. I'm dizzy. No. Okay, lean your head back and oh. use my head to push the bag off. Okay, now you try. Okay. You're just cuddling. I know, I got distracted. Whatever, just leave it on. Let's stand up on three. Okay. One, two, three. Three. Ow! Push against my back. I'm trying. Use your legs. Oh. Ah! Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, uh. Here we go. Man, we make such a great team. Like Jason Bourne and that girl who died. <laughs> Wait, I'm the girl. Sit back down. I just stood up. Someone is coming. Oh. <clears throat> Looks like they're still unconscious. Yeah. They could wake up when they're sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> that doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> Just shut up, okay? This is the coolest thing that ever happened to me. Oh, well, look who's away. Whoa, you've got an eye patch. That's so evil. Are you guys like arch nemeses and 20 years ago, Natalie took out your eye and you were like, oh no, my eye, you haven't seen the last of me. And Natalie was like, well, you haven't seen the last of me either. And now you have one eye. You told him my backstory? No. <laughs> Is my life that cliche? No, no, it's okay. We waited a long time to catch Agent 007 D3. So you are British. 100%. I knew it. Follow my lead. What? No. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! You shot my leg! Oh. 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 Okay, stand up! Oh, my leg! You can do it! Ah. Behind you! Ah. Oh. You shot my arm! Oh. And enough of this! Ah. Oh. You shot me again! Oh. And you dodged the bullet! That's really hot! Why are you dating this guy? Oh, oh, oh. I don't think I can walk. Lift your legs! Oh, I got holes in me. All right, gentlemen. Radar shows that the perimeter has been breached. Any minute now, the secret agent known only as Lady Shadow will fall right into our trap. After tonight, she won't be bothering our organization anymore. This is it. Get into positions. <laughs> Lady Shadow. Looks like you've been expecting We've been me. expecting, dang it. <laughs> and here I am, unarmed. Ah, well, that's going to make it difficult to get this, isn't it? The missile defense secrets. Indeed. Now we're bringing you in. I'd advise you not to make trouble. What's the fun in that? <laughs> Try not to hurt her too much, boys. I want her alive. Have it your way. I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> What's the matter, boys? You forget how to fight? Uh, Lady Shadow. Uh... Are you sure you should be exerting yourself right now? Are you scared? Well, yes. Not surprised I often have that effect. I'm not sure you're having the effect that you think you are. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, well, maybe you just like to come along peacefully. We can offer you a nice bed, maybe an obstetrician. 
If you're trying to distract me, it's not going to work, okay? I'm gonna take out each one of your men and then save you for last. Okay, get her, but gently. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh no, yeah. Uh. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Ninja star. Oh, 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 oh God. Okay. Coming yeah, for you. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's not advisable. We'll just... One more time. <laughs> Premature late. Ah. Oh, yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was the longest fight ever. Okay, maybe you should sit down. Maybe you should! What? Uh, okay, Lady Shadow. Please. I just. La okay, nice dodge. <sighs> okay, I don't want to hurt you, Lady Shadow. Suits me just fine. Uh, no. Would okay, you just. Have it your way, I get it. I'll do this. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Is there like zero oxygen on this dock or is it just me? Okay, you need to rest. I could really go for some hot wings right now. <sighs> but not until I get that disc. <laughs> no match for my cat-like reflexes, I see. Lady Shadow, okay. Do you... <laughs> you... Okay. You won this round. Where's the bathroom? Yes, back Thanks. <laughs> Be DJ Darth Cats. Uh, sorry to barge in. Your assistant let me in. Hey. Hi. Okay. So is the track ready yet? I'm really excited to see what you've been working on. The label's counting on you to make the hottest new dance track for the fall season. Yeah, the track is set, and I'm confident you're gonna love it. Okay. So, all the hottest DJs, Skrillex, Corpse Parade, Death Nuggets, Children with Knives, none of them are doing anything this dangerous. Great news. The label will be thrilled. All right, and it's now. Ooh, it's a little darker than we discussed. Yeah, I know. Okay, so I use a lot of sample sound effects because that's what's hot right now, okay? Cool. Rad, right? That's rad. Yes. Uh, a lot of sample sounds. Okay, that one, I, I don't love that one. Nah, that one's awesome. What is that? It's a brontosaurus. How did you even get that? I found it. I'm just not sure that people are going to be able to dance to this, you know? Oh, they will. They'll dance. Oh, that is creepy. How do you like that? In order to form a mother, you need is that you reading the preamble to the Constitution in an Indian accent? Democracy. I think we need to move in a different direction. Wait, wait, wait. Here comes the drop. I still feel a little bit like... Wow. What do you think? Well, it's, um, it's awful. It's like ear poison. 
Well, you can either take this track or I'll cut another one with Miley Cyrus. I'll take this one, thank Great. you. Good. Okay, as long as I can get my homework okay, done. Good. Oh, great. Here comes Shannon, Molly, and Hannah over here to be rude. Hi, Natalie, Mallory. How are you guys doing? We're fine. Awesome. Thanks for... Mal, you look prettier than normal today. Did you actually shower? Ha <laughs> ha, very funny, Shannon. No, but seriously, this laundry outfit that you're wearing is really cute. Whatever, Shannon, just go away. You know what, Shannon? Joke's on you, because all of Mal's clothes are this ugly. Thank you, Natalie. Well, Mallory, I noticed during lunch today that you ate three whole slices of chocolate cake. I am really impressed that you can put down that much. Uh, you're impressed by that? Mal eats entire sheet cakes by herself all the time just because she's sad. Yeah, really sad. Really, See? really sad. <laughs> See, I licked that while I was crying on the bus, Yeah, Shannon. on the bus. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, are you guys going to the dance this weekend, or do you still not have a boyfriend? Uh, Mal's never had a boyfriend because boys aren't very attracted to her. Sing it! Physically or personality-wise. Oh, yeah! I'm playing in doll, Shannon! Deal with it! Yeah, oh, deal with it! Oh, yeah, we're doing this! It. Deal with deal it, with Shannon! It. Please oh. clean it down! Oh. Me? Yeah, you are. You're gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and before you make fun of Mal from being fired from her fast food job, you better think again, because Mal was only fired from Taco Bell because she's incompetent. Hey. Sorry, Del Taco. Yeah! <laughs> you guys are really weird. I don't like you at all. Uh, no one likes Mal. Yeah, everyone hates me. <laughs> she's the worst. <laughs> Come on, girls. See ya. Oh, yeah. You're my best friend, Natalie. I love you. You're my best friend, too, loser. <laughs> I will never understand women. <laughs> I can't believe you, game. You game. Let's play Two Truths and a Lie. Oh, oh okay. I love that game. Wait, okay, wait, no, I'll go first. I'll okay. go first. Okay. Okay. Um, I have a crush on Brett. <laughs> it's true. Okay. I love the color pink. Uh -huh. And I went to the moon once. <laughs> <laughs> silly. You have to do better than that, silly. Uh -huh. okay. It's obviously the last one. Okay, my turn, my turn, I'll go. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have been on a Disney Caribbean cruise. Oh. I won the science fair in fifth grade. Okay. And mm. I volunteer at the animal shelter on Fridays. Oh, Natalie, that's so hard. I know. Was it the science affair one? Yeah. No, I volunteer on Saturdays, so. Okay, um, <clears throat> okay. Um, I once vomited into a child's eyes and blinded him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we know okay. That. Um, three years in prison for stealing a disabled woman's family fortune, and I have an airborne infectious disease. <laughs> Do I win? Oh, sorry. Anyway, now I just avoid dairy altogether. Yeah, it's probably a wise decision. It's just a very deceptive... <laughs> you okay there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you sure you didn't, you know, hurt yourself taking that fall? <laughs> I, no, I was... I was dancing. I was, I was practicing this dance. <laughs> Wait, I mean, everybody trips sometimes. No, I, didn't, I didn't trip. I was, I was practicing these moves for a dance thing. A dance thing? 
Yes. It's, uh, it's very competitive. Uh, what kind of dance is it? The... The mambo. Ah. Yeah, it's, um... It's a, it's a really, you know, hot mambo. It's got jives and hips. And, uh... You know, my, uh, my partner and I were just... Partner? Me. So you're dancing with someone else? Yes. <laughs> Who? Um, Stacy. <laughs> show me some of the dance. What? <laughs> what? Just show me. Show me what no, you've been no, working on. Oh, no, we're still, I mean, we're still working on the, you know, the lift and... Oh. Uh, so, just, yeah. come on, just a little bit. Just show me just a little bit. Do it. Do it. <laughs> It's, uh, you know, starts with like a... Seriously, what? I was just trying to get you to admit that you were lying. And five, so six, seven, eight, just, and... You don't ah, have to... Uh, and then, man, uh, don't hurt and yourself. And then I have like a really large Latino skirt. Okay, just, well, wait, it's okay if you tripped, okay? Just like, you just admit it. I just, um, you know, I hope my injury doesn't keep us from winning. What injury? From a couple minutes ago when I totally tripped. <laughs> Hello, world! Hi. My name is Sawyer, and I'm a cage-free goose trainer. And I'm Madison, and I'm a freelance garden dreamer. And we are so excited to have a lifestyle vlog Finally, we're Finally. gonna cover so much stuff. We're gonna talk about clothes, makeup, DUI tutorials, exercising tips, all of the above. We are totes yeah. ETSYG. What's, what's ETSYG? Excited to show you guys. Right. So, like, we're starting to vlog because pretty much everybody asks us how we got our lifestyle. And I just wanted to, like, be like other people and feel the world. We're soups into, like, living soups, healthy, whole, org, veg, paleo lifestyle. We've got four diet things that we are obsessed with. Number four is a new kale body scrub that we heard about from our psychic. Best part of the kale body scrub, it's like eating a salad but instead scrubbed into your skin. The way it works is that you scrub, you need scrub, scrub, until your skin is gone, and then you keep scrubbing, and it scrubs away your fat. So you just have like this raw, fleshy, mm -hmm. icky stuff. And so then I was wrapped up in a body bandage just for two weeks. Yeah. And that was like, ugh, fine. But like, I lost five pounds, so that was cool. You looked like a naked mole rat mummy. Worth it. Number four, this amazing new raw restaurant. It's like, so farm to table, you're like literally sitting in the field and there's all these animals that are like mean. And so you get the list of all the mean things the animal has ever done. This chicken is a jerk, I'll have that one. And so you feel like like the animal dies and you're like part of the nature's justice system. Like I felt so patriotic. But the other thing is that mean animals, they secrete these oxygenated sectic Sacticans? Sac they, secrete, they secrete these sacticans. Sacticans. That are like great for your skin. They like make your pores smaller and so radiant. So like I read that somewhere. Science is so amazing. Okay, so at the same restaurant, you can get a super delish, nutrish, substance chicken soup that's soup soupy. Number four, and my personal fave, is our new diet that we're doing, and it's a maze. Like, it's literally a giant maze. And we originally started it because a goblin king took my baby brother. It's called the More Natural Than Natural Diet. So it's no grains, no dairy, no sugar, no beans, no fruits, no veggies, no liquids, including water. Yeah. 
So basically, you just like absorb the pollen that's in the air. Yeah. But no sun because you might photosynthesize, and that would maybe you, make you Because you become fat. part plant after the pollen. Mm -hmm. Food for thought. Now you're making me think of it. But no food. And also a good a good tip just to know because sometimes people are like, oh, when do I stop dieting? You know you can stop the diet when you look in the mirror and you have the body of a nine year old boy. You guys, seriously, this diet is so good. It's to die. It's to die. We need to go now because we need to wrap our faces in seaweed so we lose all our cheekbone fat. Yeah, gross. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs> hey, Mom? What is it, sweetie? I'm just working on a school project about family stories, and I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Sure. Okay. Ah, uh, first question is, how did you and Dad feel the day I was born? Oh, that was a great day. One of the happiest of our lives. Really? Yeah. As soon as we came home from the orphanage with you bundled in our arms. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Mom, did you just say orphanage? Oh, it's not what you think. Your father and I were in the Peace Corps at the time, volunteering at an orphanage, and I went into labor and had you there. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Keep going. Well, as soon as we left, we knew we had to treat you as our own. <laughs> okay, wait, that sounds suspicious. Was I not your own? Honey, you're not listening. You didn't let me finish. We had to treat you as our own daughter. <laughs> okay, how does that change anything? <laughs> because we thought we were going to have a son. As soon as we got you, we knew we had to change our thinking. <laughs> Okay, Mom, you gotta speak a little more straightforwardly. <laughs> well, I'm being as straightforward as I know how. Do you want help with your assignment? Yes, I'm sorry. Keep going. Well, as soon as we got home, we immediately decided to thank your previous family. Mom! What? <laughs> I had another family? Sweetie, you need to use your ears. You're not listening. Yes, I am. I am listening to the exact words you're saying. You know we're very religious. We had to thank that family. <laughs> okay, just how did you and Dad feel when you brought me home? Oh, well, it's difficult to put into words. You know how Daddy Warbucks feels when he finally gets Annie? When he adopted her? Or when Pharaoh got Moses? Also adopted. Or when nobody got Bruce Wayne? Mother, who may not be my mother. It really sounds like you adopted me. We did. Okay, so you admit it. We adopted you into our lives. <laughs> you are so confusing. I don't see why the word adopt has many meanings. Ugh, can we just finish this? I need to reevaluate my life. <laughs> Well, when we took you home, it was, a, it was a hard transition since you didn't share our genes. For the love, Mom! I didn't share your genes? No! <laughs> genes! We're saying the same word! Our genes! Like Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants! <laughs> I didn't share your pants? <laughs> our genes, yes. Ever since your father and I saw that movie, we always wanted to share a magical pair of jeans with our entire family, but you were still too little for them. Okay, Mom, you are seriously freaking me out right now. Am I or am I not adopted? You are! In the, tra in the traditional sense of the word! You're not! Oh, Mom, this almost makes me wish I were adopted. Well, you certainly don't share our jeans. Oh, forget it! Forget it! What? Honey? What? What was that all about? I was trying to find a way to tell her she was adopted. Into our lives? Of course. <laughs> Susan B. Anthony. Amelia Earhart. Elizabeth Cady Stanton. Jane Goodall. Gloria Albright. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Gloria Estefan. They're all awesome. Go girls! Yeah! Keep watching! Woo!
It's the middle of July. Uh, hey, hey. You, you look great. Oh, thanks. So do you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, let me give the sitter the bedtime routine. Go ahead and have a seat. I'll be right back. All right. Sounds okay. good. Oh, 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 hi, girls. You you must be Gina's daughters. I'm Glenn. What are your names? Kaylee. Okay. Well, uh, high five. Mm. Oh. Well, this is awkward. Uh. Are you going on a date with mommy? Uh, yes, I am. Yeah. You're my new daddy. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. This is just my second date with your mom. Please so. have a chair for seat so that we can ask you questions, like on Law and Order. Special Victims Unit. <laughs> not sure you should be watching that show. If you do not answer these questions correctly, I'm going to cut Kaylee's hair and tell Mommy you said I could, and I'll cut all the way up. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> I'll answer your questions, okay? Let's just... We need to decide if you're good enough for Mommy or if you're a goblin. <laughs> mommy, Mommy said that a goblin ate all my Christmas candy, but I, I, I know that it was her because because now she has to wear bigger pants. <laughs> <laughs> Question one. Do you do lots of bad stuff? <laughs> like what, sweetie? Have you ever yelled mad things at a bird or a dog or a bird? Uh, but I, I, I don't know, maybe. I don't... Have you ever killed anyone? Have I ever killed anyone? I've never killed anyone. But, but have you ever killed anyone? No. Wrong answer. What? Have you ever congested drugs? How do you even know what the... No, no, I have not. Have you ever rode a horse into spaghetti? <laughs> That's just what it says here. No. Answer. Good. Good. Have you ever kissed a lady that wasn't mommy? Well, I'm 45. <laughs> and I've been married before. So, no. Don't lie to us, we're kids! Okay, yes, I have, all right? Oh, I did... Goblin! The hair's coming off! Hey, whoa, 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 no, 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 no. I didn't look like my Barbie that I burnt! Um, no, no, you two need to stop this behavior and, and, and just be more responsible. Well done. You said that like a real daddy. Daddy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, that was unprofessional. Why don't you have bigger muscles? Hey, now. Yeah, aren't, uh, aren't daddy supposed to be, aren't they supposed to be big and strong? Are you, are you a baby daddy? That is not what that means, okay? My daddy's dead. Yeah. Whoa, wow. Uh... Mommy says that he got shot up into the Okay. But I think she killed him in a fire. Yeah. Are, are you serious? Yeah, that's how my Barbie got burned it. Oh. You know what? This whole thing's been pretty messed up. I think it might be better if I just leave. Why don't you tell your mom bye for me, okay? Bye. Thanks. We love you, Daddy. We love you, Daddy. Bye. Is he gone? Uh huh. <sighs> Thanks, guys. I really did not want to go out with him. He honestly yells at birds a lot. Stupid bird! Look Ooh. what you did to my car! <laughs> Keeping my hair healthy and strong has always been a challenge. We blow dry, heat, and color our hair to the breaking point. Just like us, our hair deserves a break. A chance to rejuvenate. That's when I discovered Nucleshine. Nature's best kept secret because it's not found in nature at all. Nucleshine brightens, enlarges, and helps you glow. Nucleshine is specially formulated by Iranian scientists to give my hair seven essential types of radiation. It works with my body's natural chemicals to make my hair so thick the body starts rejecting it. Everyone will notice there's something different about you. Its smooth formula gives your hair a gentle experience. I used to have dry, brittle hair, but now I'll let the results speak for themselves. Discover 
why women are raving about a revolutionary way to look beautiful. Yeah, it's shine. Because you're worth <laughs> These kids are such slobs. Mavericks, Absidy, don't leave your coats on the ground. <laughs> Slow down, Taylor. So Jules, how is third trimester treating you? Ugh, I'm so ready to not be pregnant anymore. <laughs> I remember that feeling. <laughs> Me too. And then I had the baby and found myself thinking, this is so much harder. Can I be pregnant again? <laughs> yeah, I guess life is still pretty simple. Except for going to the bathroom. Ugh, enjoy it while you can. Ugh. I miss going to the bathroom by myself. Yeah, Absidy freaks out if I shut the door. Uh, I shut the door and lock it, and Truxton still gets in, like a friggin' ninja. <laughs> Mavericks has to sit on my lap. Uh, Taylor has to sit on my face. <laughs> You're so so lucky. You're so lucky. <laughs> yeah, well, I have really bad heartburn that keeps me up all night. Oh, I'm sorry. That must be really hard for you. Yeah, too bad there's not something called, like, Tums that would totally help. Yeah, you're so lucky. So lucky. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> I'm just so uncomfortable. None of my clothes even fit anymore. I'm sorry. It must be really hard for people to think that your fat stomach is totes adorable. Yeah, I wish I could just sit there and let it flop out like a bitch manatee. Yes. <laughs> So many stretch marks, I look like an albino zebra. Uh, <laughs> my abs have completely separated. Put your hand here. Yeah. Fill it. Fill it. Put your hand here. Fill it. It's crazy. Fill it. Fill it. Those are my intestines. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You're so lucky. You're so lucky. I get it. <laughs> you okay, Jules? Yeah, I'm just <sighs> a little uncomfortable. My Baby's kicking me in the ribs. He's already so... Already so what? Nothing. <laughs> no, what were you going to say, Jules? She's going to say he's already so naughty. Look oh. I miss when the naughtiest thing my baby did was be totes and orbsies in my tum-tum. Yeah. <laughs> Absidy just flushed my iPhone down the toilet. Uh, Truxton used my iPhone to call the police and say we kidnapped him. Uh, <laughs> Mavericks called me fat. Truxton called me curvy, which hurts more because it's what nice people say when you actually are fat. <laughs> Absidy is so demanding, she's like a cruel dictator. Uh, Taylor is straight up the reincarnated spirit of Saddam Hussein. <laughs> You're so lucky. You're so lucky. Yeah, 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 luck of the Irish. You're so lucky. Okay. You guys are so mean. Condescending, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm leaving. Oh. Did you see how she could just leave? No stroller. No diaper bag. She's so lucky. So lucky. So Are you serious? I'm telling you, sweetheart, I've only been playing Halo for like 15 minutes. Really? So the fridge is still broken because you just stared at it for three hours? Don't be so upset. Just answer me. Okay, Mom. What did you say? I said, okay, John, because I have to use the John. The John, John is the word I said. Was that what he said? I'll go fix the fridge. Yeah. Oh, hey, Scarlett Johansson. Were you checking out these bad boys? Don't worry, Scarlett, I'll get your dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is everyone out of the burning building? You know, I too have been told I have sensational lips. Matt, your mom's waiting in the car. What's going on? Nothing, Dad. This is detailed. Mr. President, I have an important memo for you to sign. Mr. President? Mr. President? I can forge it. It's just for Congress.
What? Vice President Joe Biden? What are you doing here? You can't sign that for the president. It's not good. I'll get you for this. And that is how I accomplished my nefarious plans. Joke's on you, De Leon. This entire conversation has been documented in the court of law. What? Um, dare. Oh, okay. okay. Right. Uh, Corey, I dare you to uh, lick the bottom of my shoe. Oh, oh. oh. goodness, I did not see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, hey, it's no big deal. It's just the game. All right, it's no problem. I've just been walking around a Walmart bathroom all day. So. Oh, God. Oh. Stop. Oh. Okay. Francis, settle down. Oh, wow. Who, who's yeah. next? Uh, Francis, you haven't gone yet. Truth or dare? Oh, me. Yeah? Oh, me? Oh, I've never played before. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. Oh, wow. I can't pick. Oh, truth or dare? Truth or dare? I can't. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I am. Um, I picked dare. Okay, okay. girl. Let's do this. All right. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm ready. Whatever you want to do. I'm scared. Okay. Oh. Uh, I dare you to kiss Joe on the cheek. Oh, lame. Oh, wow! <laughs> that is crazy! Yeah, you guys yeah, okay. are crazy! Yeah. Oh, I can't! Oh, wow! Okay. Oh, I no can't! No big deal, Francis. Oh, that's so crazy! <laughs> oh, wow! Oh. Put him there, Francis. Oh, wow! <laughs> 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 I've got a doozy for you. It's gonna be okay. crazy. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, I thought I went. I um, I dare you to like pick up this basketball and like smell it, and, like roll it across the ground. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, that's not really a dare. Like you can do something that pushes me a little. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I dare you to like touch Tim's face, but like very gently. Brush your hand across his face, like, not like hit him, but you know, like, oh, your face is stupid, but you don't mean it because it's a dare. Oh. <laughs> Francis, that's not a dare either. So a, a dare should kind of push you past your comfort zone, yes. you know? Yes. Yeah, you know, like what we were doing with the bass, with the licking the mm -hmm. foot. Yes. <gasps> oh, I've got one for you, okay? Okay, we're doing me. All right, great. Okay, okay. go like this. <laughs> Francis, you need to like pick it up a notch, you know? Yeah. Oh, 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 wow! Oh, wow! Oh, wow! I got one for you. Okay. Okay. What if you okay. two? What if you two like you clapped hands and then you clapped feet? So it was like, oh! <laughs> Do you get it? Do you get it? Wow. Wow. You really don't understand how this works at all, yeah. Francis. Uh, Francis, listen. A dare is supposed to be something you're scared of. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. Do your worst. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I mean, if you can, you say you do anything, right? It's yes, the game. Yes, it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the game. You, you have to do what I say. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. Here we go. Come on. Wow. Oh. Oh. All, right. All right. I um. Okay. I um. Dare you to um. Jump out the second story window and land on your head on the bike rack. <laughs> Oh, 
wow. I mean, it's more dare-like. But guys, I'll die. No, you said you'd do it. No, no, I don't think I want to. No, 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 no. I don't. Francis, listen. I don't know. Francis, it's really deep down. Oh, thank goodness he's alive. I oh. think I broke my leg. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, what? You landed on your leg? You're supposed to land on your head. So you're out, but we'll play without you. OK, Wait. bye. <laughs> Francis, you are straight crazy. Oh, wow, thank you. <laughs> oh, this game is crazy. Let's play another one. I got a juicy one. I think we need to go. Let's play Kiss, Marry, Kill, Meet Corey, Kate. Who do you marry? Who do you kiss? Who should I kill? Oh. Oh.
Minnesota. Okay, ladies, they're starting evening wear for the first 10 of the top 20, so you're on in two minutes. Oh, gracious, I'm nervous. What are you doing? <gasps> Did you eat one of those sandwiches, honey? Yes. Can you see what happened to Miss Delaware? No. All I know is she ate one of those earlier, and now she's in the hospital. I think she threw up a kidney. Oh, dear. Miss Minnesota. From the land of the Mall of America, I'm Shauna Green, Miss Minnesota. Miss Alabama. From the warm heart of Dixie, I'm Vanessa Peachman, Miss Alabama. And Miss Oregon. <clears throat> From the state where ducks and beavers just can't get along, I'm Rachel Johnson. <clears throat> Miss Oregon. <clears throat> the judges have spoken. And now on to the talent competition. Johnny boy, oh Johnny boy, I love you so. Miss Alabama, everyone. There is so much talent in this room tonight. Our next contestant to move on to the talent portion is Miss Oregon. Uh, well, I, I guess we're gonna have a. Oh, oh, uh, I guess we'll. We could. <laughs> look like we could just. Oh, oops, she's back. Uh, Miss Oregon, everyone. <laughs> According to our judges, ladies and gentlemen, these are the five women that'll be moving on to the interview portion. Now these five ladies have reason to celebrate because they have made it so far. Congratulations. Now let's move on to the question and answer portion. Let's start with Miss Minnesota. Now Miss Minnesota, what is your stance on gun control? I'm pro whatever works for your family, America. I think that each household should choose what they will and will not keep in their homes, not the government. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Minnesota. Now Miss Alabama. Miss Alabama, do you ever think we'll have a female president? Oh, I'd say it's inevitable. Women are powerful and strong. It's only a matter of time before one makes it into the office. But that's just little old me. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Alabama. <laughs> now for Miss Oregon. Yes. Uh, Miss Oregon. Yes, Jeff. Uh, Miss Oregon, um, how would you improve the education system in our country? Are you wearing a wizard's hat? No? Okay. Vote for right, me. Uh, Lobster Queen 2008. <laughs> America. America. We'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are ready to crown the newest Miss America. And the winner is... Miss Oregon. Jeez, How on earth did you get this? Really? Oh, okay. Is this a joke? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, oh. I feel so beautiful. No, I'm gonna quit. This is amazing. May all your daughters look up to this face. I'm your daughter's new role model. Mm. But seriously, how did this happen? Does anyone have a bucket or a bowl or their hands? Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you can see more compilations and sketches all the time. And make sure you comment below on uh, who's your favorite girl. Yeah, like me maybe. I was going to say Storm, but you're my other or favorite me. girl.